All right, guys, welcome to episode 12. So last time we basically styled on everyone with Yin, which is pretty nice. Um, today, I don't really know who I'm going to play. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So we got these um, recharge tokens that started today, basically. And what's nice is if you spend like five bucks to recharge like 250 diamonds and then buy something with those five bucks worth of diamonds, you can actually get some free draws. So basically what's really nice about this is you can actually like get some more skins. Oh, and we get um, a new skin from here. I'm going to go for Haya because Haya is my favorite hero. He's actually been, he was my main for such a long time. He still is, but I don't really play him that much. Um, we get this little recall effect for having a pre-registration. And I'm actually going to click on something like share real quick and then just turn it off. And then that'll give us a free fragment. So now if we go to collect other rewards, so we get 300 free coins. It's pretty good. And then let's see, collect our daily rewards. So we have these hero trial packs. We got Bruno, who's arguably the best marksman right now. Um, he's so stupidly strong. He needs to get a nerf. I think they're nerfing him next update. Uh, Wan Wan's now the new hero, who is a decent hero. We have this free ticket draw. So we got five magic dust. And yeah. And ticket wise, like we only have a couple heroes left. Discount, um, I wouldn't get any of these. Again, they're not really that worth it. You can get them through like so many other better offers. Effects wise, we just got this new Ducati trial effect. This recall is pretty insane, um, but we already have one, so that's nice. Uh, we have this free draw, so I'm gonna just skip it. Let's see what we get. Ooh, yes, this is really good. So we got eight new arrival tokens, which is normally something that is hard to get. And what we can do now is you can actually go to, wait, click on draw, and you see this new arrival. Um, you can actually choose either a skin that you wanna get. So skins are really nice because um, Obviously, like these two skins will cost like 799 diamonds, which are pretty expensive. It's like, what is that? Like 15 bucks about? But um, you can also draw for new heroes. And personally, okay, we already saw how stupidly strong Nolan is, but he's not stupidly hard carry. He can be easily countered. Same case for Arlet. Ixia is one of the best marksmen right now. Um, I might get her later. Novari is a really fun mage, one of the best ones right now as well. But Joy, on the other hand, is a really strong hard carry hero. And I actually hard carried quite a bit using this. So normally, ideally, we get a 10 times draw using this because you get a 10% discount. You only need nine tickets instead of 10. But I'm just going to draw this one by one and see what we get. This is also really nice because we get these hero fragments, which is going to get us um, new heroes anyways. So I want to just keep getting these hero fragments. Oh, whoop. I didn't mean to activate that. <laughs> but uh, we can basically just keep drawing and see what we get. Alright, we did not get Joy, but we did get these 8 Hero Fragments, which is really nice. Well, 3 Hero Fragments. And that puts us a little bit closer to getting this. So you can get new heroes. Melissa's actually here, which is nice. And I hope they don't remove that. Because basically what they do is every like month or so, they'll like swap out 2 of the heroes here with 2 other heroes. Um, but yeah, a lot of the heroes here are really good. Um, Oda you can get for free, so that's not really worth it. But definitely, let's see. Alpha is pretty good. Um, Claude is really good if you know how to use him. Kadita is pretty strong. Irithyll is really strong right now. In fact, she's one of the she's the second skin for the Ducati collab right now. Wan Wan's decently strong. Lilia is like busted right now. Poplin Koopa is a good jungler as well. Benedetta is always good if you know how to play her. Beatrix is another one of the top five MMs I think. Hylos is one of the best tanks right now. So is Edith. Um, minsithar has been a really strong fighter for a while now. Fredrin as well, but he's also stronger in jungle. And then Melissa, as you guys know, um, <laughs> is the hero that I want because I think that she's the best marksman, hands down. But I guess like it's also situational. But yeah, let's go actually check our inventory because we've gotten a ton of stuff. Just quickly clear out some stuff. So we got some skins, we get more emblems, um, we get these more heal trial facts. What do we get? Oh, Tigreal, Kagura, Chow, and Moskov. Okay, those are pretty good. We got this coupon somehow, I don't know why. Uh, we have 100 of those fragments. We actually have a Saber trial card that can, like I said, will convert into 30 coins. So the more of those you have, are like the better. And then yeah, I think that's all for now. So let's see. I think if we go to preparations, can we upgrade anything? No, we cannot. We're literally four levels away from that. And hero-wise, I actually don't know who I should play. I kind of want to try out a new hero today, um, but I don't know what we should use. I know, we'll see. Hmm, we might just have to repeat. Like it's someone today. Um, I don't know what quests there are that are left complete. Let's see, we just have this one. Complete four matches. We're finishing that today. And then is there anything else, like task-wise? 
Um, let's see, destroy five turrets, win six matches, uh, complete three matches using a tank. Okay, we're not going to complete any of those because we only have one video that we can do today. But um, yeah, honestly, we might actually start playing more often now because we already completed all the daily sign-in tasks, basically. So all that's left is to really just play. So I might just, I might start pre-recording even more because right now, like I told you, um, I pre-record a day in like advance. So like every video that you see uploaded is like a day behind essentially. So if you guys watch this, for instance, on like the 20th of October, then this would be like recorded on the 19th, but maybe I'll see. I might change it so that um, I pay record a bit ahead. That way I can start planning other content as well. But um, yeah, I don't know who I should play really. I kind of want to use like a really fun hero. I might use Selena again, because I feel like last time, like I did decently with Selena, but there was definitely some improvement I could have done. And alongside with Yin as well. But let's see, what heroes can I play? All right. <clears throat> you have a decent amount. Okay, we kind of we actually need a jungler right now, so I might actually just use somebody in the jungle. Um, hmm. What's a fun jungler we could play? You know what? We haven't used Bowman yet. Maybe, maybe I'll use Bowman, and I'll use the jungle build for him. So I would actually go with the Kyrie build. Kyrie is the best jungler right now, arguably in Mobile Legends. Um, he's insane. He can play pretty much every jungler flawlessly. We don't have the fighter emblem or either of those, so I'm just gonna use the basic emblem, obviously. Um, for this one, I'm gonna go with uh, Adaptive Attack. We gotta use Seasoned Hunter. And then for this one, I'm actually gonna go with um, Extra Skill Damage, so that we can get a bit more damage on. And notice how, like, for this build, War Axe is insane, because what it does is for fighters, um, you basically stack extra attack for every second you're in combat. So for instance, as long as you're attacking something or getting hit by something, uh, you gain stacks for that. Uh, and then after that, you basically just build like extra lifesteal for your skills. And then once you're done with that, you start just building tank items. This might have been a bad play, but we'll see. Our opponent is Sun and batting. I mean, sorry, uh, Bauman is actually pretty good against Sun. And looking at our opponents, I don't know, our teammates are pretty decent. Um, I think Miss Uterin knows what she's doing. And you guys can tell, by the way, from the borders. Um, these three, so Yudora, Uranus, and Raphaela are in Grandmaster right now, and then um, both me and Mia are in Masters because of our border. Because you guys can see, we have a gold border for Masters, whereas Grandmasters have a silver border. Epics have a green border, Legends have a different colored green border, uh, a gold border. It's like a little bit thicker, I think. And then Mythics have a little crown on top of their head. Um, I'll show you guys later. And then once you get into Mythic Immortal, which is 100 stars, your border starts shining, which is insane. But we'll see. We'll get there eventually, and then hopefully I can showcase you guys that. For now though, um, yeah. So I forgot to tell you guys this, but there's actually like several builds you can go. <coughs> Excuse me for that. But um, basically these, these three types of retributions, um, each one is unique. So Ice Retribution basically slows someone else down while you speed up. So it's basically like you steal their speed. Uh, Flame Retribution is kind of like that, but you steal their attack. And then um, finally, Blood Rate Retribution is basically you just steal their health and you heal up that much over time. So all of these are like the... I think they do it for like a bit of time. So I don't know exactly how long they're for though. But yeah, we. I think you guys have seen Bauman before. Yeah, yeah. for four seconds you can either steal their attack, their speed, or their health depending on whether you use um, Bloody Retribution, Flame Retribution, or Ice Retribution. I'm using Ice Retribution because Bauman's gimmick, as you guys can see here, is he does this little cyclone attack. And <clears throat> the reason why the cyclone attack is good is because it actually deals like more and more damage as you hit them over and over and over again. Uh oh, this is actually a bad play by me. Wait, oh my god. <coughs> Wait, why are they all helping out Sun? I wasn't expecting that. All right, that was that was definitely a misplay by me. Not, I was trying to invade, but I guess, I guess they already expected me. This is actually bad then because that means their Leslie knows what they're doing. So it's gonna be a lot harder for me to win. I probably should have Retribution there, but I guess I was a bit confused by talking. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to dash through here, activate my attack, and I'm going to just scroll over here and attack both of these guys at the same time. And he got, he got Litho too, which is kind of sad. Alright, I'm going to just attack this, and I can tell he's over here somewhere, from what I saw. Yep, Sun's over here. I'm just going to quickly take this jungle, and I'm going to go in. Um, what's my build right now? Oh wait. Let's attack this guy. And his ult basically deals true damage and can pretty much one-shot anyone. 
So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to attack the Zylong. Nice. And now let's go take the turtle because it's pretty much free. Their son's the only one here, but I can easily kill him. So I'm just going to drag it over to my side. Nope, he's not doing that. So I'm just going to attack him. He's not even level 4 yet, so he's pretty easy to kill. So if we can just knock him down and kill him, uh, this should just be GG. So notice, okay, it's not worth fighting them right now. So I'm just going to go for the turtle. So notice, by the way, um, basically what Bauman's skill does is every time you're hit by this um, second skill, his damage increases by like 20% up to double damage. So the reason why it's so strong is because you can do that. Okay, I'm going to retro. And then his ult basically deals, um, yeah, you guys can see, it deals like 300 plus 30% of your health as true damage. Okay, I saw Leslie in here. Okay, she's running away. Smart move on her part. Um, I'm going to see if I can steal this from her. I steal this from the enemy son. Alright, wait. I'm going to attack. Kill Leslie. Then I'm just going to steal this real quick. Alright, mission successful. Now we can go just quickly take this litho. And then once we take this, oh, we're just going to go attack. Okay, this sun is still pretty low. Okay, just kill his clone. This is why I say, by the way, sun is not that good. Because every time you kill his clone, you get like some extra gold. Meaning that you just get more farm than he does. So that's why I don't really like sun. But yeah, looking at this, so notice how- Oh, never mind, not 20%. You do 25% extra damage for every time you get hit by the second skill. And that's kind of why you build full tank with him. Because he doesn't actually require damage items because his second skill is like, you know, damage over time. So basically what you want is you want to get this item, <clears throat> which basically increases your attack and your penetration for a while, as long as you're in combat. So you guys can see the stacks now reset because I'm not fighting anymore. Every time I'm attacking, notice how my attacks just increasing over and over again. So that's why he's strong and that's why you want to build tank items after this because, okay, wait, I'm just going to attack her. So notice how like much damage I'm doing and then I can just ult and just kill her in one hit. Probably didn't need my ult there, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it does. And the thing is, even though he only deals 30, oh yeah, look, notice how it upgraded? Now it's 37.5% of their lost health instead of 30%. So I think this will go up then to maybe 40, 45%, which is an insane amount, by the way. But yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep taking his blue buff so he's still under farmed. All right. So this item will basically give you more lifesteal. This item is basically defense as you use skills or basic attacks. And then... Um, this skill is basically you just have a ton of health, and then you get um, health regen over time. And then this Athena shield is obviously um, just, you know, base defense. It gives you magic defense, basically. Alright, I can just one-shot him, like that. This is also why, by the way, that Bowman is absolutely busted in the jungle, because you can you can time this third skill plus your retribution to basically win every single retribution fight, guaranteed. So I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. He's not exactly a burst assassin, so he's not like, you know, super duper cool to play. However, he still deals a ton of damage, and because of the fact that he has that ult that deals like so much damage in one hit, um, he's really strong in a fight. So he can also like pretty much one-shot minion waves like that. And the reason why it's so good is because you can just dash in and ult. Oh wait, I missed. Oopsies. But yeah. Notice how like with just one second skill their sun's basically dead. Right? So I can just like Use my ice retro. Uh oh, I think I'm dead here. Yeah, I think I'm dead. <clears throat> that was my bad. I wasn't expecting them to actually play like smart. <clears throat> All right, so this Leslie knows what she's doing, and this Zylon I guess like spear flipped me once he saw that I activated my second skill. So Batman's main counter is um, basically just making sure you can stop this skill. But um, once you get some farm, like this ult will basically just one shot anything in existence. But yeah, I'm gonna get brute force now. Um, I'm gonna quickly just grab my buffs. Oh, they're literally so low. Yeah, typically what you do is you use your first skill and then you ult. Or if you're in the lane, you use your flicker. Yeah, because Bauman typically uses flicker. Um, also, his first skill, even though it's a dash, it also like slows them for two seconds if you can hit it. So that's why it's good. I'm actually gonna quickly clear this and I'm gonna go help our top lane because they're kind of getting killed right now. Okay, if I can just sneak into the bush, come in here and start attacking her. Okay, this Layla's dead. I don't know where the sun is. I saw sun over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna start hitting him. All right, I'm gonna ice rusher him so that he can't escape. I'm gonna kill him. And then now we can just go to the turtle, where we can steal his buffs. I'm gonna quickly just clear this lane. 
And then once I do that, I'm just gonna go quickly clear everything. I'm gonna actually push this turret first. So you guys can see that my stacks are still up. So I'm just gonna keep them up. And notice how much more damage we're doing now. Like we have like one item. Okay, I'm gonna just do this. Yeah, I need to watch out for this Leslie second skill. Um, but if I do this and I just bolt, she's dead. Oh, wait, what? He's running. I'm gonna ice retro because I can secure the turtle. Wait, is he using sprint? I think he might be using sprint. Yeah, Uranus was using sprint. Okay, wait. They're still all dead. Because I can just do this and I can do that. So that's why Bauman is super strong because notice how <laughs> notice how even though like they were killing me, I just healed up a tiny bit and then I just one shot them with my ult. And I can just do that again. So yeah, look, the ult deals 45% of their lost health as damage. That basically means if they're less than half HP, you can one shot them with this ult because it deals true damage. That's an insane, that's an insane amount of damage by the way. Okay, I mistimed Retro there, but it's all good. The only downside is um, that ult damage is capped to 2000 damage overall if they're not a hero. So yeah, to non-hero enemies. So right now, um, I'm actually just gonna go in here and I'm gonna see if I can just ult someone. I'm gonna wait for my teammates to lower them. Cause one of my ults will just kill them. You notice how like once I'm like leveled up a bit, like I can just non-stop second skill. So watch, I can just ult and he oh wait, never mind, our teammates got it. And look at the ult cooldown guys, it's 10 seconds. This is why Bauman is like such a strong hero. Because you can literally just ult once every 10 seconds and then it's just GG. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if our teammates got this. Alright, I'm just gonna go in here and then ult. And notice how I just one shot them. That's actually so stupid. And guess what? I can do that again in six seconds. So this guy basically has a like a never ending ult. And that's why he's so strong. So watch. I can just ult. Boom. Oh no, he didn't die there. But notice how much damage we're doing. It's absolutely insane. Okay, I need to escape here. Um he was trying to go for me. I guess he was focusing me after he realized that I'm kind of carrying. Okay. I'm just waiting here. Ult. Boom. One shot. Uranus's gimmick is getting a ton of defense and then healing it all up. Like healing all the damage that he gets up. So like the fact that you can just one shot pretty much all tanks is just insane. So where's their sun? I don't know where their sun is right now. But I know that I can just one shot him if he comes in. So I can just boom. Yeah, and then he's dead. But that was actually a pretty fast game. Um that was actually really easy. <laughs> so my focus now is just kind of showing you like all the heroes. That was a pretty fast game, so I think I might just do another one without any pause. Okay, we got a tiny bit of a winning streak bonus. Do we get any extra stars? No, we just got one star. Okay, we are MVP, and I think we did... How much damage did we do? All right, let's just like everyone. And our damage was 32%. So I didn't do as much damage this round, but you guys can see how much damage that uh, Bauman can pack. So let's actually just jump right into another one so that we can go fast. Okay, and then we obviously completed this Bauman hero task. So use Bloodthirst and accumulate 6,000 health regen. Wait, what is Bloodthirst? Oh yeah, Bloodthirst is his passive. So that's the other reason why this guy is like super really strong. His passive basically makes it so that if you if you kill anything, he heals up health. And every hero he kills basically gives him 40% of his health back. So Bauman's gimmick is basically doing sustained damage over time, slowing enemies, like slowing the crap out of enemies, healing up and dishing out like damage. Especially using his ult because his gimmick is basically kill anyone at low HP. And the reason why it's so strong is because if the enemies have like a hero that has a lot of defense, you can just one shot them using Bowmond, which is why he's really fun. All right, let's see our comp right now. Um, we have a marksman who's going gold lane. We have a roamer, we have a jungler. So we need either a mage. Okay, so we have a mage. So now I'm our XP laner. Um, I don't know who I should use this time. I might actually just go, yeah, I'm gonna go Selena XP lane. <laughs> Selena XP lane, and I'll go XP lane, like that. And we already said that we'd use this build. Um, I'm actually gonna change the spell this time to execute, because as you guys lost, like saw last video, um, <laughs> well two videos back, that execute was really the reason why I wasn't doing as much. So I'm just gonna do that. Um, yeah, I can't. I literally can't wait. By the way, until we get flame shot. I think we get this in one or two more level ups. So once we get that, we'll do much better. And then once we get Flicker, like basically it's GG. Like we'll be able to play every single hero because the only people who use Vengeance are like really tanky fighters. Like for instance, Edith, sometimes Joy uses Vengeance if she's going XP lane. Um, but yeah, there's like very few people who use Vengeance and no one uses a rival. 
Like the only time you'd ever want to choose arrival is because the enemies might backdoor you, meaning that while you guys are busy like in a team fight, um, they'll just like solo push a lane all the way to your base and then just end it. If I can, I'll show you guys how to backdoor. And then it'll be funny because backdooring is like the worst feeling in the game because you guys might be winning like 20 kills up and then the enemy just pushes your side turret and then you lose. Um, I've had it happen to me before. I've done it to people before. It's always funny if I do it and really, 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 really annoying if like I, it happens to me. But yeah, this time I'm going to focus a bit more. Like last time I just kind of like zoned out. Now it's just kind of like going like this. Um, another tip that you should always do is help out your jungle farm. Like, help out your jungle farm because, um, okay, I can't actually get my second mark here. But the reason why you want to help out your jungle farm is because um, rotation is really key. And these minions won't die by the time you get there. So just help out your jungle farm a bit. Clear it, and then just go away. Hiding in a bush will also make it so you get no, none of the XP. But notice how because of that, our joys farmed like significantly faster, right? So they have two XP laners, so I'm going to have to play this a bit carefully. Okay, I hit their batting. I'm just going to get a shield, I'm going to do show out a bit of damage to him. Um, and notice how even though I helped our jungler farm, I've lost none of the XP from the lane. So Selena becomes incredibly powerful once she gets her second skill. So now that I have this, I should be able to just instantly go in and kill her, like that. And I'm just going to regen up because I don't have my mana. And you actually want to fight in your demon form when you're in the XP lane, or in any lane in general, because um, you get extra damage, remember? So I'm just going to stun him. I'm gonna cast my second skill. Alright. He casted his wall, but I can just dash out like that. Alright. He's gonna dish out some extra damage. And I can actually do sustain fighting a bit, like this. Okay, I kinda need to run the. Oh, this is bad. Alright. So I'm actually gonna outplay him like this and dash out. So Selena can easily 2v1, although I think they're kinda playing like bad right now. All right, I'm gonna launch my skill at her like that. And then I might actually just retreat. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can launch a stun and get someone. Nice, I hit their Benedetta. She was trying to recall, which is good because now I can basically stall her out a bit. And now I'm gonna recall because I don't have any health and I don't have enough mana to initiate a second burst of combos. So I'm gonna go back now. All right. And I said you should just prioritize this, but right now we're just such an under level. Like we're in a low rank, so it doesn't really matter. But if you were playing in like a high rank battle, you would prioritize this even before your boots. Like that's how important it is to get that. Because that means that if you can buy this before you even hit level two, um, that means that you level up three times basically. So what is he saying? <clears throat> I think what he's saying is, okay, if I can translate this, I don't speak Spanish, but I've learned a bit. So let me see if I can translate it. <laughs> um, okay, Sensei, I will... I will, I think I, he's saying I will like assault your personality or something like that. So I think he's, I think we've managed to trigger him quite a bit. <laughs> and notice how we're like styling on them. Okay, I'm just going to launch my stun. I missed, unfortunately. I'm going to keep transferring between my two forms. Um, Benedetta is triggered, which is good for us. All right, I'm going to see if I can launch my stun like this. Uh, I hit the minion. That's unfortunate. But that means I can just steal it like that. Oh wait, whoop, I messed up. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can bait them in. Yep. All right, there we go. All right, she's dead. Wait, you're kidding me. All right, wait, let me see if I can launch my stun at her. Yep, she's dead. All right, she's dead. There we go. And we get a precise kill. <laughs> I think that's the first one we actually got on this account. Um, but yeah, that basically happens if you can kill people from a long distance away. Uh, we've, we've like triggered Benedetta quite a bit, which is good for us. Um, but yeah, notice how like we're styling on people by the way, even though we're getting two of you on. Okay, I have no idea what that means, but I she's clearly pissed. That's all. I, that's all I know. Um, hopefully we don't get banned from that. Okay, let's see. What is this batting doing? All right, he's actually behind that minion. He's behind Ricky, so I'm actually just gonna do that. All right, wishing out more damage. He should be dead now. All right, he's running. So I'm just gonna launch my stun. He's dead. And yeah, notice how we let our Harith basically get the kill by doing that. Um, that's why stuns are so important. This Benedetta doesn't know how to play, so I'm just gonna come in here, launch my stun. Oh wait, I failed to like actually hit my trap. But yeah. He should just be dead now. So I can just like launch my stun like that. And boom, stun her. Oh, how bad. 
Yeah, unfortunately for you, I'm not gonna fall for that. Okay, I launched a trap that way. So now I can basically, like she's trying to taunt me because she thinks I'm, I guess she's just trying to annoy me, which is really funny. But um, the reason why this is funny is because I can just, here, wait, I guarantee you she's, here, wait, let's just stun this batting. Never mind. Okay, I, the cool thing about Selena that makes her so strong is because you can actually tr like summon up three traps. And notice how like after a second they turn invisible like that. When they turn invisible, um, they they are actually invisible. Like you cannot see them. If you fight against the Selena, you'll know what I mean. Um, those traps become completely invisible, and they'll only appear if you step on them. And you can have up to three of them on the map at once, and they last for sixty seconds. So okay, this Benedict, I have no idea what she's doing. Oh, she's right here. All right. I think yeah, Benedict is over there. All right, she's hiding. I assume right here. Oh wait. Ah. Uh, all right, wait, I'm just gonna wait. She's, she's like, she's being really annoying right now. All right, wait, let's just do that. Aw, oh, that's sad. All right, well, she's clearly focusing me. I guess she's really annoyed by the fact that I keep stunning her. Hey, batting's my like main threat right now because he's just, he's just gonna keep summoning that wall and basically make it impossible for me to do anything. So I'm just gonna focus on landing stuns until I get this item because once I get that item, I'll be able to one-shot everyone. Our joy is good. I think she's definitely on an alt account. She's definitely smurfing. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, she's definitely smurfing though because she's playing joy properly. She's just, I guess she's not using, yeah, no, she's she's using the right build and everything, but I guess she's still a little bit inexperienced. So I'm actually gonna put a trap right here to give vision. And I'm just gonna keep launching stuns. Okay, this Benedetta is like hard focused on killing me. I don't know why but I know for a fact that people like to hide in these bushes. Okay, she's not there. Okay, she's actually in mid lane right now, which is funny. But yeah, All right, I'm just gonna use the slow hand combo. I'm gonna la launch my trap. I'm gonna zone him a bit. I'm just gonna do this. Come in, attack, and then dash out. And now he's pretty much low. I can do that one more time and then he'll just die. So I can just land my trap. And now I just need to wait for him to Basically up here. Oh wait, I see a Leslie here. Okay, I need to dash out. All right, I'm gonna actually launch my stun in here. Let's see if I can get her. Nope, never mind. I need to be careful because this Leslie knows how to play. I like you can clearly tell she do, she knows what she's doing. So I'm just gonna launch my stun here. All right, she should be dead soon. Oh, well, that was my bad. I should I shouldn't have gotten greedy. This Leslie is definitely playing like a high rank player though because she's keeping her distance and like doing her damage. I got a little bit greedy there, <laughs> if you guys can tell. But um, yeah, so I'm actually fighting against like decent players now. I guess that's because we're starting to get closer to Grandmaster. And that's when like, that's when you start fighting people who are decent at the game, but still don't know how to macro properly. So macro again is like overall game sense. Um, like for instance, can you farm and rotate properly? That's actually what I should be doing right now because our teammates are kind of getting smoked by this Helker. So once I like once I get a little, little bit more farm, I'm gonna have to rotate. Okay, you know what? Actually, let's just rotate right now. She quickly clear the lane. So I'm gonna quickly clear this minion wave because you don't want to miss out on your farm. Um, and then I'm gonna rotate because their their players are rotating pretty hard right now. Okay, we just got our first damage burst. Okay, so we got our first damage burst, which is lightning truncheon. Their Hellcurt I think is recall spamming, so I'm gonna go kill him real quick. All right, wait. Okay, that's about good stunning distance. So I just do that, and I can just do this. Okay, for sure their Hellcurt is here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna stun him. Uh oh, this is bad. Okay, notice how by the way I managed to stun him like that. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can land a stun from about this distance. Oh nope, never mind. He jumped. Okay, retreat because this is not a winnable fight. Okay, I think I saw someone over here. Never mind. Okay, wait. Let me just launch that stun. All right, I got their Hellcurt. This is why Execute, by the way, is really good. Okay, wait, I have a feeling she's gonna be dodging this way, All right? And this, by the way, is why the stuns are important. You gotta predict like how people will move. Okay, wait, I managed to stun him so he can't last his ult. Did you guys see that? Um, if, this is why Selena is such an annoying like hero to face off against, because if you, if you can play her properly, like, she's just, like, unstoppable. Okay, wait, let's just quickly kill this. Oh, crap, I got stunned. Okay. 
Yeah, that was a bad play by me. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can steal Hellcrit's blue buff. Okay. And by the way, if you guys see me like fast handing, um, don't feel too confused because basically what I'm just doing is okay, wait, can you quickly take this? Alright, wait. Let's see if we can stun their Hellcrit. Uh -oh. I'm gonna tank Leslie's shots so that our tank doesn't die. I kinda failed doing it, but it was decent enough. Okay, wait. Their their marksman is here, so I'm just gonna launch a stun. Alright. Yeah, definitely this this marksman player is definitely um this Benedetta player definitely knows. Like she's definitely at least Grandmaster. Okay. He's dead. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Wait. Okay, I need a recall. Leslie deals like non-stop true damage, so we need to retreat whenever we see her. Uh, Benedetta, it's not, sorry, not Benedetta. Joy actually gets countered by her, so, I, right, so we're gonna need to be a little bit careful here. I need to keep launching stuns, like, non-stop. But basically, why Selena is, like, really strong in late game? Here, here, let's see if the enemies are hiding in here somewhere. Nope, they're not. Okay, I'm gonna start putting down more traps so we can see where the enemies are. <laughs> Ideally, you want to put them in positions, like, for instance, right here. Because now what that does is it reveals the blue buff. Um, yeah. And let's see. I'm gonna see if I can land a stun this guy. So I'm just gonna do this. Now he should have moved a little bit back. Nice. Okay, we didn't get the person we wanted, but still pretty decent. Alright, we hit, we hit Benedetta once. Okay, this Benedetta doesn't know how to use her skills, so that's at least nice. Okay. Just gonna do this. Attack her. Come out. Like that. Alright, they shot some damage. Alright. Okay, no, we need it back. This Leslie is like supporting. Okay, wait, let's see if they're here though. Yep. Oh, frick. Okay, so did you guys see like why like it's important to keep launching your stuns by the way? Okay, there's someone in here for sure. Let's see who it is. I hit someone, I don't know who. Alright. We just launched a stun, didn't hit. I didn't think it would. So like another strategy you can do is just launch your stuns like this nonstop. Okay, we hit batting. Okay, I see their Leslie, and that's my like my main target. She's over there. Alright, I want to hit this Leslie so that. Okay, wait. Let me just use this to reveal their positions. Okay, wait. I see someone over there. Okay, nice. We hit their Helker. Uh oh, this is bad. Okay, I can't get close. So I'm just gonna focus on launching stuns so that our teammates can do something. Alright, this Benedetta is being really annoying by the way. <laughs> I guess she was taking my like stuns personally. So and you guys can see her, she's trying to backdoor. So I'm actually gonna use my skills like this. Nice. Alright, she's dead. Alright, I'm gonna recall spam on her back. There we go. Yeah, never recall spam guys. It's like it's being toxic. If you're gonna do it, at least do it like when you're like actually winning. Like, what she's just doing is she's just trying to be toxic, so don't do that. Okay, we have a blue buff up. I'm gonna take this again. Thank you very much. Because I will happily take this. It's basically just gonna mean that I can, like, use my skills more often. But yeah, you guys can see my damage is, like, insane now. And Layla's damage is also insane. So if they're... Okay, nice. I think their Benedetta is probably coming up this way. Yep, I was right, but I didn't hit. But notice how much damage I'm still doing. Okay, I don't know why this Franco is like... Hey, wait, wait. She's dead now. Okay, I need to run. Okay, I think their Hellcrit's over here. Okay. He retreated. That's good. Wait, do we actually hit them? <laughs> we actually hit him. Okay, wait. Uh-oh. I need to be careful. This Hellcrit can one-shot me, so I need to be, like, really careful when I actually, like, play. Okay. See if this will hit anyone. Yeah, I can't actually go in right now, so this is why, like, Selena's, like, right now you just gotta play passive. Okay, let's see if I can hit him. I think their Hellcurt will take a ton of damage. That's good. Alright, let's see if we can just stun Leslie here. Okay, nope. She's dodging and weaving. Nice. Okay, let's see if I can just hit their Leslie. Nope. Missed again. Okay. Oh, we still hit someone though. Okay, basically what I'm trying to do is, okay, there's Leslie over here. So if I launch my stun, she's dead now. So you don't even need it. like, once you get like the hang of it. You don't even need to focus on like combining your second skill and all. You can just focus on just like stunning them. So you guys can see here like if I just launch a stun this way. Oh wait, he's going for me. Oh god. Wait, he's dead? Easy. 
All right, let's see who else is here. Okay, we can just do that on him. He's dead now. <laughs> he can't, he literally can't get like stuns in or anything. And then we just end like that. So I think Layla might have an MVP that round or maybe Joy. But um, yeah, let's see if we aren't MVP. Yeah, I don't think we're MVP this round. Yeah, we weren't MVP. We were gold, I think. Yeah. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, our Layla was MVP for sure. We were close, but our Layla was like doing an amazing job. Um, their Benedetta and their batting. Okay, I don't know what the hell Benedetta was trying to do, but she was just, I don't know. She was just being annoying. So we're gonna taunt her for being a negative player and intentionally feeding and being low skill level. And then yeah, that rarely works by the way, unless multiple people report them or the game like identifies them. Um, and we could also report the batting, but batting wasn't being toxic. He was just being stunned by me nonstop, <laughs> which is really sad. But yeah, um, we did pretty good. We got two wins in a row. Um, and our damage this time was actually higher than Leila's. The only reason why she got MVP was because she got more kills. Which I think is like, oh, there's a train in the background. But yeah, the reason why I think, um, I think the MVP system is pretty good. Oh my god, the train. <laughs> yeah, I think the MVP system is fine, but they basically made it so that healers can get uh, easier metal rankings now. But let's see, I actually saw that um, for this one, I realized what I did wrong. You can actually click on Party on Dreamers, and the fun data reports right here. So this is actually what I saw last time. But what I didn't do was at the very end, there's actually a share button right here. So if you guys like saw that, my bad, you can just tap on that. Actually, wait, sorry. Tap on anything else but that. So like let your ID pop up like that. And then that counts as sharing. So you guys can see here, I, that counted as me sharing that. And then now um, there's eight days left. So we should be able to get this Johnson skin because we're already at what? We're at 40. We're at 40, we'll get, um, let's see, six, eight, that's 14. That's 22, that's 32. Oh wait, no, it's 72. Okay, so we'll have 72 in total, but then we also have these daily things. So we're not going to be playing with friends, but every day we'll also get six more. And six times um, seven is what we'll have. So six times seven is 42. So if we do all of that, um, we'll have more than enough to get that, plus some hero fragments. So we're fine. And then we also finally completed this task. So now we are officially done with the daily sign in tasks. And yeah, we're also level 16 now. We also get this weekly activity chest. We get a ton of BP. I highly recommend you try and go for this every day, by the way, guys. Every week. You also get these fragments, which is really nice. And then our epic skin trial card, which is Saber Skin, Saber Regulator. So I guess we'll play him next time. And yeah, emblem wise, we can upgrade our emblem one more time, upgrade our support emblem. And I think we get a Hanabi skin now, which is nice. But yeah, Hanabi though, you need a good team, like I said. Okay, we got this ticket and this fragment. It's also really good. Hero wise, let's see, who should we get next? Hmm. Honestly, I might actually get Yudora next. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually buy her right now. Okay, next game we'll be playing Yudora. She's a really fun one shot mage, and she, I've been seeing her a lot in um, rank lately. Okay, it didn't actually count against credit score, I think. But um, yeah, I've seen them play in rank, and she's actually really strong right now. So, it's pretty cool. But yeah. That was today's episode. It's a little bit long. Oh, we also get this Baxia skin. Baxia is a disgusting jungler right now. He's so strong. Um, I think that they'll probably nerf him next update. But yeah, we're Master 1, 3 stars. And I think if we can get MVP next time, actually no, if we can get a Savage next time, we're definitely going to rank up to Grandmaster. So next game, I actually might just play um, I don't know a hero that I can get a Savage with easily, maybe Layla. But yeah. That was all for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, maybe learned something new about that retribution and stuff. Bauman and Yudra, uh, Bauman and um, Selena both are pretty good. Selena though, you need to learn how to use your scuns. Like you guys saw how I was leading my shots. You gotta learn how to see how the enemies will move and predict it like that. But yeah, that was all for today. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.